born with pain. And the same journey home, good night and God bless. Thank you. Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the match reaction. Just back from Goodison Park where Everton have beaten Doncaster Rovers 3-0 in the Carabao Cup. We're into round three. Don't really know what to make of it. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. So I'm going to say, I'm, well, I am. I'm made up we won the game, of course, and we've scored three goals in the process. Um, not sure how much we can take away from it other than it was good to get the first win of the season. We've kept a clean sheet as well. But that first half wasn't a great performance. It, it improved once we'd taken the lead, but we have got to be better. But just, I don't know whether it's confidence or the way we play or whatever, but we need to be better. Uh, the manager made a couple of changes. Seamus Coleman came in, which was a little bit of a surprise. Um, James Garner was back as well to get them some legs in the minute. Legs in the minute, minutes in the legs. I was disappointed, I'll be honest, that Roman Dixon didn't start the game. I thought this was a good opportunity. I understand getting Seamus minutes back, I get it, I get it. Uh, and he wanted to give James Garner, so it's fine. Jake O'Brien played alongside Michael Keane, so we thought he would. Uh, in midfield, Garner was with Irabunum. And we had Illiman and Dai and Jesper Lindstrom as well in the side. And Beto up front and... Everton made hard work of it. I thought personally, I thought Doncaster played really well in the first half, knocked it round well. Totally and utterly debunking this idea that you can't play decent football with um, inferior players. And let's be honest, Doncaster had inferior players. He got League Two players. And he passed it round, worked some great uh, little patterns of play. Tested Jordan Pickford with a good strike. It was a good save in the England goalkeeper. And... You would have been hard pressed when you if you'd have sat down and not known who was who to see which was the Premier League side because Everton huffed and puffed. You know, there was the occasional good little moment. You know, we had a ball fired across early on from McNeil and Beto just couldn't convert at the far post. McNeil had another cross shotty type, which the keeper dealt with comfortably. Uh, we had a block from James Garner, shot that was blocked and went over the bar. And that really was that really was it in the first half. Nothing major. Um, like I say, they had a good little move and a curl and effort off a corner. It was a good little set piece actually, and Jordan Pickford made a good save. And it, don't get me wrong, you ain't cutting us open at anything, but they did knock it around quite well. Lots of lovely little movements, and they've made changes as well from their best side. So we did find it uncomfortable in the first half. Got to half time. At nil nil, and that was disappointing because this was a game that beforehand I think I'd said today on the the shows that we'd done. I was expecting three or four nil. Uh, I was expecting a comfortable victory, and okay, it it ended up a comfortable victory. But the first forty five, I just think we've got to do more. I know people will again, people will sort of make excuses if you like as to why we weren't playing at that level, but but just. Was so sort of everything we do is really slow, and I don't even think it's down to the quickness of the players. I think it's just how slow we move the ball. We don't get into space once we pass it. We stand still. I think mean, we've just got to be better, and the players I think are better than what they're showing. And the manager's got to take a few more risks at home. But we went in nil nil, and we came out in the second half. And like I say, I think we I think we did step it up slightly. We were still a little bit edgy, maybe, or we were overplaying at times, and we we got into a couple of you know we got a couple of moments where it looked like something had come off and and they cleared it or it was blocked, but we did get the goal. Good play from Jesper Lindstrom, cut the ball back, Irabunum smashed it in. It's nicked off. Dwight McNeil and gone in, and I reckon Sean Dykes, we were laughing, saying Dykes said to the fourth official, give it to McNeil. I haven't seen it again at this stage, so uh, it, it's obviously hit McNeil and gone in, a la Anthony Gordon against Leeds a few seasons ago with Richarlison's shot, to give us the lead, but good to see it, I'm striking it, he'll get the assist, if not as the, his first Everton goal. And that sort of relaxed them, then the, the place relaxed a little bit, they relaxed a little bit, Started knocking it around a little bit more. Great play for him, Illiman and Dai. 
in a wide right position, fired a brilliant cross, Beto should have headed it in for 2-0, it skidded off his head, he should have really scored that. But we did get that second goal, Jake O'Brien ball into Illiman and Dye, lovely little turn from him Dye, and off he went towards the edge of their box, little step over, went on the outside and passed it under the goalkeeper for 2-0. To, and that was it. It was game over. Um, you know, Doncaster still, still huffing and puffing, and you know, a little shout out to their fans who never stopped. I mean, a couple of ropey songs in there, but they didn't stop. So fair play to them. Really good support from them. And it was, you know, with two 0 it was game over. And the manager, you know, made some changes. Jack Harrison came on. Idrissa Garna Gay come on. Um, brought on Ashley Young, which the crowd weren't overly enamoured with I thought it was a strange decision I think but why isn't Roman Dixon coming on at that stage Seamus had done over an hour it should have been Roman Dixon there if he wants Young on take Mikalenko off and play Young at left back Young came on uh, and then I think the manager had sort of gauged the crowd's reaction and thought I'd better put Dixon on as well and Roman Dixon did get on the pitch, as Harrison Armstrong did as well. Everton got the third goal. I thought Beto would work the socks off all night. Some good stuff, some not so good stuff. Once it was 2-0, he had a couple of chances to thread in our players. And he welled on it and it got closed down. And it's those moments, that decision-making play it early. Um, but we did get the third goal. Good play. The ball... Inside, it was a nice little ball from Dwight McNeil. I think it's Michalenko cuts it back. Beto takes a touch and toe pokes it under the goalkeeper for 3 0. And that was good to see him get off the mark for the season and kill the game off. He deserved that goal. We could have had more in the end. Dwight McNeil forcing a good save from the goalkeeper. And like I say, we had breakaways where we just didn't make the right selection. McNeil chose to shoot instead of slipping Harris and Armstrong in. I've just said Beto, he did it again. So there was those moments. Good little cameo from Roman Dixon. Um, just got to learn, I think, just at this stage, to, to keep the ball a little bit better sometimes. He's a little bit cheap with his possession. Just tighten that little bit up. He's got the athleticism. Uh, I thought Harris and Armstrong looked comfortable and assured when he come on some nice little give and goes. Good little movements. Uh, and that was positive as well. Jake O'Brien, you know, making um, his full debut, wasn't it? Making his Everton debut. Really, um, you know, and, and done well, and we got a clean sheet, so can't really ask for much more than that. So, a good win, a good win. We're in the next round, we've kept the clean sheet, we've won the game, we've scored three goals. So, job done, really, and that's what it's about. The manager will be pleased that Coleman's got over an hour, and obviously, James Garner has got that in the tank. Uh, player of the match for me, man of the match for me, was Tim Iraburum. I haven't looked at his numbers. I will. I know I said when I'd done the, um, after the Brighton game, going to do it every game, then I didn't do it for Spurs because of bank holiday and all that, but I will do this for this game tomorrow. But Ida Boonham was my man of the match. I just thought he led by example, obviously. I'd love to give him the first goal. It was his shot that went in the corner of the net. Again, it might be the massively obvious it wasn't going in and it's hit McNeil and gone in. I don't know. I'll have to see it again, of course, and I will watch it again. Uh, but I thought he was he was at the forefront of everything we did well. So, therefore, he is my man of the match. Notable mention, like I say, for Jake O'Brien. Did quite well, I thought. Um, and I thought Beto worked really, worked really hard uh, up there and deserved his goal. He's unorthodox. His touch needs to be better. But he is a handful. And I'm delighted he got himself a goal. And can we create more chances for him? Illiman and Dye as well, I think was a bright spark, was in and out a little bit, but he, he does try to carry the ball and carry the attack. Yes, but Lindstrom had some nice moments, but I think he's got to do more. I think um, he's definitely got to do more. He's a talented footballer of that, there's no doubt, but he's got to get sharper, the physicality, get a little bit up to speed. Maybe that'll come with, um, with more games and all that. But all in all, good win for Everton tonight. We've won the game and... It's, it's picked it up. Now it's over to the recruitment team, to the owners, to the manager to come up with the goods in the next couple of days and get some players in if they can and get some out. Mopai looks like he may well be off 
Um, there's obviously lots of rumours about Dominic Calvert-Lewin, lots of rumours about others going out. So that's where the focus turns now before we've got a very tough game on Saturday at Goodison against Bournemouth. But at least we've won and the atmosphere and, and the feeling will be much more positive going into Goodison Park on Sunday. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, do all that. See you later.